Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe. Today I'm going to do this New Year's Eve glam for you. I thought that I'd be doing something with gold glitter, but it ended up being green. So I rolled on with it and I got a nice brownish lip to go with it. And I did a little cream contour for you today. Hope you enjoy. Let's get right into it. So first I'm going to get into my Morphe 9FC palette and I'm going into the darkest color and I'm using my fingers because it's one of my favorite tools. I'm going along the sides of my nose and I'm pushing up against it to feel where the hollows are I guess or where I would like my nose to go back. I'm also going to go around my hairline on my forehead in a half circle shape. <laughs> And I'm not being too careful because I can always blend it out after. Next, I'm going to feel with my finger in the hollows of my cheeks and I'm going to cup right underneath my cheekbone and blend it down just before my mouth or the edge of my mouth. And I'm going to go along the bottom of my chin. Next, with this light kind of peach shade, I'm going to go under my eyes. I like this palette because it's great as something to use for highlight and contour, but it also doubles as a concealer. So keep in mind, this is gonna give you lots more coverage. So I'm doing kind of like a half triangle shape underneath my eyes. I also added a little bit of the dark color underneath uh, where my eyes are, but I guess I forgot to put that in. I'm also gonna do a little uh, sprinkler in the middle of my forehead and bring it down in the center of my nose above my top lip just to puff it out a bit and I'll put a little bit on my chin as well. I'm going to blend that with my Morphe M555 brush just because it's nice and dense so it'll buff it around really well and mix it in. I'm starting by buffing in the darker shade so it doesn't make my lighter shade muddy or so that it won't lighten my dark contours. right down the sides of my nose and I brush off any excess uh, dark color and I will go ahead and start blending in the light parts. You basically just don't want to see any lines or where you started or where you stopped. I did this when my foundation was a little bit dry so I added just a touch of foundation on the brush to help blend it in. I'm going to go in under my eyes for a little bit more coverage with that light peach shade again just to brighten it up a little bit more because I need more coverage there. And clean the piercing if you have one. And I'm going to go in with my Pro Fusion Bronze, a 35i, and this is my M524 brush from Morphe. And I'm going to go with my 140 brush from Morphe as well just to set the bronzer. This is the So Hollywood Illuminator from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just highlighting the highest points of my face. And with my ColourPop Disco Ball eyeshadow, this is like a very soft black. I'm going to draw a wing for like an eyeliner effect, but I want it to be pretty soft so it's almost like a backdrop for the liner that I will be doing. And this is my Morphe. Uh, oh, I don't know what brush this is. I like lost it after I did this tutorial, but it looks like a pencil, so sorry about that. Anyways, it's good for drawing a line. I was looking for it, I couldn't find it. Anyways, I'm also going to fill kind of the inner corners of my eyes, and I'm going to fill my waterline with a black coal pencil. This one's by ColourPop Cosmetics. Now this is uh, the Zoeva palette. It's a nude spectrum. I did a really terrible job of showing the colors, but it's kind of like a taupey gold. And I'm going to bold out that soft black we did earlier um, with this darker black color in the Zoeva Nude Spectrum palette. And with this chocolate brown, I'm going to cut out my crease. I don't need it to be super duper perfect, it's just going to give me a guideline for where to put my glitter. And on the other side, I actually had to make this part a little bit thicker because my hood is a little heavier so it kind of disappears into my crease so I had to make that eye just a little bit thicker than I did on the other side so it shows up a bit better. 
Next, with that kind of gold color again, I'm gonna use my finger and just blend that shade on top just to give the glitter a bit of a backdrop. And this is my NYX 05 glitter. I like to use contact solution as my glitter adhesive just because the other glitter adhesives kind of irritate my eyes. And I didn't know it was green, but it is, so I'm rolling with it. This is the 07, so this one's an actual gold, and I'm pressing that on top. And to brush it away, you can use a little brush. This is my Makeup Geek Lightyear um, powder, I guess it's like a glitter, but I'm using that to cut out the shape underneath my wing and to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. It kind of reflects paint, green, gold, and white all at the same time. I'm gonna give my lashes on the top and bottom a coat of mascara, generous coat. This is a Lights Camera Flashes by Tarte, and I love it because it's really black. These are two pairs of iconic lashes that I've stacked together, and I'm using their eyelash adhesive. It's latex free, and I'm not allergic to it, which is awesome. Bam, bam, when you got your eyelashes on. Next, I'm gonna take Berlin Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX Cosmetics, and I'm gonna fill in my lips. Nice and easy. If you're going out on New Year's, you're partying, you don't want something that's hard to apply, so this is nice and soft and smooth. It'll stay on, and it's very easy to touch up later on. So that completes the look. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow, and love yourself, and stay pretty, and have a very happy new year. Have fun, and don't drink and drive. That is the single worst thing you can do. But turn up all you want, just make sure you get home safe. See ya. Be safe. Thank you.